<clears throat> Hello, my Scorpios. This is Miss Kelly with Lovers Lane Tarot, and I'm coming to you with an overall energy read of where you are right now. So, I see, Scorpio, you are exceeding everyone's expectations, even your own. You are shocking yourself, and you are shocking people at how you are soaring into excellence, and you are moving, and you're doing it vigilantly. Vigilantly and by, um, vigorously. Um, you are coming into a place you're no longer trying to force things, force interactions, force um, much of anything that's going on in your life. You are accepting what is. You're accepting your blessings as they come. Okay? You are believing in magic. And the reason, look at this believing in magic there is some sort of relationship that you want to mend um and i feel like you feel like you have it in you in order to be able to mend this situation um i have here for my what's the tea deck the tea is served so the tea that I got from this particular deck is you love someone more than you're letting on. You care about someone more than you're letting on, but you might be going through some sort of midlife crisis right now as far as, you know, you don't know if you're happy being single or if you actually want to um, begin another love partnership. Um, so I feel like it has you kind of stuck because then we have this is the last card we have that self-imposed bondage so it's leaving you stuck because you are you you know you might be juggling with the fact of you know is this what i really want i said this is what i want but do i really want this do am i ready for love am i ready to fall back in love but then we have at the bottom so i feel like you and your person may be watching each other online because someone is screenshotting some receipts somebody's screenshotting receipts um but I feel like, too, there's a soul contract that you have here or some sort of contract. Um, and at the bottom of this deck, the, it was, um, yeah, the fourth chakra, love. And I feel like you may have had a broken heart. Your heart may have been broken. But look at this. Didn't I say soul contract? All of this has something to do with the heart. This is about your heart chakra. So, <clears throat> I feel like you have, there's a soul contract that you have, that you're now, you've entered into. And, um, it's taking you on a journey that you necessarily wasn't prepared for. You know, um, let's see. I want to try to get two sprays done. I'm doing yours a little different. I know people won't be like, why don't you have this? Because I like to, if I feel like it's a way I can get it to work a little bit better, look at it. You want to make this off of Scorpio. Well, it's a um, business offer, but this is, to me, a love offer. But this could be business and love. Look, page of Roz, no communication, no action. But I have a feeling the world calls at the bottom. That's about to close. I feel like at some point, there's going to be some sort of communication coming through. All right, let's see what your energy is first. And then we're going to see what your person's energy is. What's Scorpio's overall energy? Mm. Okay. I see you, Scorpio. You coming out big in your reading. Mm, let's see what we have here. Okay, so you might be concerned with work again. Contract. This is could be possibly a new contract, a new creative endeavor that you're working on. 
new contract that you may have received. Ah, uh, look. What I say? Soul contract. <laughs> what I say? Soul contract. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Now the lovers. Mm-hmm. Look at this. You all in your head. You anxious. You worried. You staying up at night. You feel bound to this person. Mm-hmm. Two of cups. You miss this person. You miss working with this person. You miss talking to this person. Look at you showing up again. Queen of cups. But you're not showing your emotions. You have a lot of emotions. Ah, for this person. But you're not showing them. Alright, let's see. Nine of swords. I wasn't supposed to shuffle, but I did anyway. Okay, look. The same page of rods came out that came out at first. So, you are very anxious about... This person has you very anxious about trying to communicate with them, okay? And I see why. We have the King of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So, with the King of Swords, you know, the King of Swords, he only deal with facts. He's all about business. The whole nine. Um, or this could... Like I said, this could be you. But this, this Queen of Cups is you. I feel like, yeah, you are afraid to communicate with this person, with this King of Swords. So, you could be dealing with a air sign. So, we have air, we have fire, we have earth, and we have water. So, we have all the elements here. Hmm. Interesting. So, yes, you're not showing, but you are very anxious about talking to this person or having or sending them a message you want to send them a message but you are very much so in your head and i feel like this message you want to let them know how much you care about them um i feel like at this point you you may be tired of holding your feelings back okay let's see why is this through let's see i want to do the lovers so, it's become crystal clear that you, you know, you want to make a decision that you love this person and you have a, you, you have a soul tied to them. But you also feel like you may have been left out in the cold by this person. Um, let's see, why is... The Nine of Swords and the Page of Rods here for the Scorpio. Nine of Swords, Page of Rods. Nine of Swords, Page of Rods. Nine of Swords, Page of Rods. That's too many. Nine of Swords, Page of Rods, please. Hmm. You feel like you sending a message is going to be a burden. Um, or, <laughs> from a sexual standpoint, you might want to send this person a message telling them how much you want to have sex with them. That could be possible as well. But you feel like you are dreading a tower moment. You feel like a tower moment is going to happen if you reach out and and try to work with this person and try to work on it yeah you feel like a tire moment is gonna happen um hmm why is this three of okay oh god of wands so you may not be feeling too confident right now when it comes to working with this person or wanting to collaborate with this person you're not feeling really confident mm-hmm the supreme but i feel like scorpio if you go within yourself you are going to find that confidence again look at this you're the supreme you have everything that you need in order for you to manifest whatever it is you need in your life again accepting what is and exceeding expectations and believing in magic you have everything you need in order for you to manifest what it is you want um hmm, let's see lovers and queen of cups Lovers and Queen of Cups. That's too many. Lovers and Queen of Cups. 
Lovers and Queen of Cups. The Nine of Cups. So this person brings you, you bring this person wish fulfillment or this person brings you wish fulfillment. And it's become clear to you that this person brings you wish fulfillment. Look at you stepping out. Death card. Transformation. So you're wanting to change how things have been going on within this connection. You want to change. Um, I had did another uh, video for you guys and it didn't work out. And we had there um, that we had the five of wands. So there was some conflict. And that's what I feel like has you stuck in this nine of swords and this eight of swords energy. Is that it was a lot of conflict surrounding you all's connection. And you felt like you or your person felt like something really needed to change in order for y'all to be able to move forward. And to be able to work on this relationship. Okay. Okay. So that's where you are. You clear about how you feel about this person. You want to collaborate with them, but you are very much in your head about if you are to communicate with them, that it may bring a it may bring a tire moment. And for some reason, I feel like you might have already had a tire moment. That's why you are in that um, self imposed bondage type energy. So let's see what your person, how your person is feeling towards you, Scorpio. The she here. What do we have for the Scorpio? In their person. How is Scorpio's person feeling about Scorpio? How is Scorpio's person feeling about Scorpio? Look at this. They look and they see you as the Queen of Cups. And you coming out. Uh, they see you as the Queen of Cups. And they feel like you're holding back. They could feel like that you're juggling. That you have options. They feel like you're falling for them and you want to reconcile with them. But uh, while well, I was getting ready to say it, look, and then it came out. No movement. But they feel like you're not making any moves. Probably, again, like it was, you not you scared to communicate. Then we have the star card and we have the seven of pentacles. So we have, with the three of cups at the bottom. So we have water, we have earth. Mm -hmm. We have water, we have earth for your person. They feel like trying to reconcile with you is like, it's a burden, it's hard. Um, It's hard for them to express themselves. They feel like you may serve a lot of, give a lot of illusions and that's why they may come off at you kind of defensive and you see them as holding back as well. Um... But again, this is getting ready to come to an end. The cycle is getting ready to close out with this. So, yeah, we your person sees you as the Queen of Cups. They feel like you are not making any moves. You're not doing anything. You're trying to gain a new perspective or you are just um, in think mode. And um, we have the star card and then we have the seven of pentacles so with this two of pentacles and the star card um i feel like they feel like right now you're trying to balance yourself balance finances balance your you know your well-being your healing um just trying to balance yourself overall um with this knight of cups and the seven of pentacles I feel like they want to come towards you and tell you that they they do love you and they want to invest in you and they want to invest in this partnership. That's where the I love you more than you know comes in. So I feel like this is the mutual energy for you both. 
Mm, look at this. So they see you as wanting, just wanting passion. Mm-hmm. Look at this. They see that you hold, they see that you, they feel like you're holding back. Um, that you just want passion. That you're just looking for, I don't want to say a good time, but with the ace of, with, with, I mean, you have the ace of, of, of wands. Like, that's, that, that's the magic stick, so. That's how they're feeling, so I feel like that's why. Or they may be coming off to you like all they want is that, and that's not true. They want a whole lot more than just sex with you. Um, why is this two of pentacles, six of wands? So I feel like they're wishing and hoping for a victory with you. They have faith and hope that, you know, you all are going to be victorious together. Um, mm -hmm. look at that. Didn't I say a cycle was getting ready to end soon? And they want to end the conflict, the back and forth. They want to end, you know, you probably feeling, feeling that, you know, feeling anxiety and feeling anxious. They want to put an end to that. They want to come out of that cycle and go into a new cycle. Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pents. Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pents, please. Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pents. So, they feel like it's taking strength. It's going to take a lot of strength for them to be able to tell you this or to be able to work on this with you um they feel like thus far they've been very you know diligent in you know how things have been going look at this the nine of pentacles so i feel like they're looking at you seeing you as someone who's single and abundant um you look good smell good but at the same time, could be like, feeling like maybe you're, you know, there's some things about you that they just don't get or that is something that you're trying to get away with. Like, I feel like maybe they're not sure whether you are single or not. So that's, you know, that's what's keeping them stuck. But they see you as wish fulfillment just like you saw them as wish fulfillment so you guys are definitely mirroring each other and giving off that mirroring energy let's see mm -hmm. mm, right mm-hmm mm-hmm so they're feeling like this could have been a missed opportunity due to due to someone not revealing what it is that they really wanted. And I feel like this person was hiding all feel like you you hiding all this love, but you want to just offer them sex, but they feel like it's still something else that you're not telling them. They feel like there's more to it. It's, they feel like it's something you're not telling them. Look at this. Three of Cups came out again. So, they want to definitely reconcile with you, Scorpio. They want to reconcile with you. Um, or, and as well as right now, they can see you as just right now. You know, you're enjoying your life. You know, your friends, your family. Um, they see you as maybe being wounded. But they feel like, you know, overall, you're still standing. You're still looking good. Look at her. She still looks good. Look at this. Goddess cups. Goddess cups at the bottom. So they feel like, yeah, you still standing strong. Um, and they still feel a lot of they feel a lot of love, nostalgia, even when it comes to you. Um, and they feel like that that's how you feel towards them. And then we have the six of pentacles here. So they feel like it's taking a lot of strength for them to give and receive with you, Scorpio. And they feel like this Knight of Wands, they could feel like that you have a lot of player energy in you, you know. Um, or they could feel like that's maybe how you see them. But again, 
Um, I feel like y'all just need to have, from, to me, what I'm taking from this, a real conversation has not been had between you all. And I feel like you guys need to go ahead, have the conversation. Um, I don't know who's going to initiate contact. Matter of fact, okay, let's see. I love you more than you know. Let's see what this is about. I didn't even do this for nobody else, Scoop. I ain't gonna lie to you. My scoop's been rocking with me since I first started the channel. So, I always show y'all extra love. Scorpios is very vocal when I first started. And I like that. I'm a Gemini. You know, we love communication. So, let's see what's going on here with this. I love you more than you know. One more. Alright, get one. Two. Y'all don't notice by now, I do three. <laughs> Every now and again, I give a little more when I'm being guided to. Alright, let's see what's going on here. I love you more than you know. Okay, so we have, look at this, y'all ain't communicating. <laughs> look at this, didn't I say that? Y'all not communicating. <sighs> look at you, in your element, feeling sorrow, regret. So again, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Page of Rods. So again, you could be dealing with, so we have earth and you could be dealing with a fire sign. So with this three of wands, I feel like you're moving slow towards this person. This person wants to move towards you. This person is actually waiting for you to move towards them. Um, with this offer they feel like you're moving very very slow they feel like you know you turned your back on communicating with them um you're not being vocal with them at all you're not probably returning messages sending any messages or anything because with this with this person's with this page of rods back and then they may feel like that your communication may be very i mean this is a page this is like the child of you know, you have page, you have knight, you have king. And then once you embody all the kings, you, you stepped into your emperor power. But I feel like they feel like, you know, they've had to turn their back on communication because something wasn't right going right with the communication. Let's see what that's about. All right, we got two cards here. So we have the knight of wands and we have the fool card. So, they feel like, all right, let's clarify the food card. I want to get three, so let's three at the other one. Okay. And we have the magician. So, they could feel like, I feel like you feel like you took a leap of faith on this person and you feel like that you were possibly played because you feel like this person you know, you were trying to make a stable offer, but this person, you feel like they were um, vibrating in a player-like energy. Um, you feel like there could have been some manipulation. You definitely manifested this person, and I feel like this person definitely manifested you. Like I say, the feelings are mutual. I feel like the communication is the issue here. And the reason that I say that is because you are so caught up in your head about communicating or messaging this person this you and this person have turned y'all backs against uh towards each other y'all not even facing each other so the communication has been completely broke down completely broke down look at this so you figured that they was out juggling and clearly from their reading we just saw they clearly feel like you were juggling so there's a lot of unanswered situations and things going on here okay let's see what this 
midlife crisis is about. So Scorpio, what you going through, baby? What you going through, baby? Three. All right. Look at it. You are just determined you're going to keep turning your back to this person. So, I mean, I'm confused. Because your back is constantly turned. Three of Cups, Knight of Swords, Justice, mm. King of Swords. So, I feel like someone reconciling with someone caused a major argument, and it threw some it threw something completely off balance. Um, justice stepped in, karma stepped in, and something had to be, something had to be balanced. Um, justice card. You could be dealing with a Libra as well. Yeah, there's plenty of air that then came out during this read. Alright, let's see. Mm-hmm. 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 So now we have the page of pen. Well, we have, we're going to start off the right way. So we have the Nine of Wands. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. And we have the Daughter of Pentacles. So you're not moving away. Even though you're feeling very like, you feel very wounded. You feel like, you know, you've been through a major battle when it comes to trying to reconcile with this person. Like I said, you all may have had some very harsh communications between each other. I see this Knight of Swords here. And it could have been quick, fast, swift. And it could have just completely thrown you off your rock. You know, thrown you off. Um, but you're not moving away from this energy. You're actually wanting to go and i feel like you may want to present this person with some sort of you know gift um this may be your way of trying to make peace um within the situation um and trying to find some sort of balance and um some sort of balance and healing for the situation i also feel like too like i say you probably are in need and i'm not gonna say probably you are you're in need of some healing you need to really heal some things that's going on with you to where as though you come out of this self-imposed bondage that we can really find out what that's about um for you okay so midlife crisis is you know you may not be feeling like you are what this person wants you may feel like and how I look at this, you know, you may feel like your body is not where you want it to be right now. But I feel like a lot of the things that you are concerned with that this person is not concerned with. Like, I don't even think that y'all are on the same page. You're not sure what they have going on in their mind. They're not sure what you have going on in your mind. So, um, again, these messages will not resonate for everyone. You can take what resonates, what does not, leave it. Alright. Let me find out what's going on with the self-imposed bondage. Strength. Two of Swords and the World card. Mm-hmm. Queen of Swords. So, ooh, baby. So, hold on. We had the King come out and the Queen. So, somebody is serious and they ain't playing with you. Do you hear me? Well, this is you. <laughs> but I feel like since you're in this self-imposed bondage, I feel like this is your person. They ain't playing with you. Not even a little bit. So, I feel like you feel like, you know, you're having to be strong and um, 
hold back and protect yourself. I feel like you feel like you have to protect your heart. You feel like you have to hold back and show that you are stronger than how you're feeling. Because, again, this is what you're feeling. This is all your thoughts. Which when most of our thoughts end up going into our feelings. So these are your thoughts and your feelings. And you're trying to be strong. You're trying to tame those feelings. You're trying to um, push them down. Like hold them back. But at the same time, you are still in this rose colored glasses mode. Where it's like you're not really, here it goes, accepting what is. Not accepting things for what it is. Um, and so, this cycle had to close. Didn't we say that earlier? Cycle had to close. Okay? So, let's clarify right quick. See what we get. So, this little spread. Okay, that's too many. Six cards. No. Uh, there's strength, two of swords, and a world card here. Look. No. Trying to find some sort of healing and hope after feeling like you were dealing with a player energy. And like I said, I feel like there has not been any real communication with this situation. Why is the star card here? Hmm, then we're going to get a advice. And then we out. The rest of my reading is nowhere near this long. But like I see, when it comes my school job and riding with me from day one. So I'm going to show you love. They get mad. Okay, goddess of cups. Look, yes, you are healing right now. I feel like you are healing. You are working on yourself. Um you're trying to juggle a lot of different things going on in your life right now. Probably creative projects, work, family life. Um, so right now you're working on you. But again, you're still in this Queen of Cups energy where you're still, you're holding back. Like, so you can't expect for somebody to... Let their head down with you if you're not willing to let your head down and look at you. You came out again. Exactly. This holding back. You not speaking your truth and you holding back. That's what keep bringing all these these uh, transformations and towers. Look at this. Daughter of Pentacle. So, again, I feel like you want to. You're stuck in your head on whether you want to offer this person a gift. You look at this person like they the supernova, baby. You feel like this person is very spiritual. You feel like this person, you and this person had you and this person, y'all have a spiritual connection again with that contract, soul contract. You look at this person, you know that this person, I feel like at all in the end at the end, you feel like this person has your best interest at heart. You it's just I feel like the only communication y'all have had has been very negative, harsh communication. And that's what have you back here in your other energy, the Five of Cups. You're not seeing these two here. There are other cups. There are other cups. And with, that, with this death card, that's a transformation, a change. Yeah. Your soulmate here. So I feel like there may be some past hurts that you need to let go of. There definitely may need to, there's some past hurts that need to be let go of. Look at this. So you feel like you have regrets because you feel like this person was juggling you. I don't think so. I feel like it was just a person who they're single. Y'all not really communicating. Communication has been like really off and you know after you wait around for somebody for so long how long do you expect them to really wait 
So I just feel like, you know, somebody wasn't making a move and somebody decided to make the move for him, you know? And I know that's kind of hurtful. Let's see what, what, what message we have. I'm going to do a fairy oracle for the advice. What advice do we have closing out for the Scorpio? Crystal children and beyond. Secret doorway. Working with intuition. Second sight opening. Dimensional doorways. So you and this person could be talking to each other. Communicating with each other telepathically. Look at that. I turn right to it. Bomb.com It is time to cease eating fast food. And accepting authorities messages simply because they are in charge it is time to find your own inner authority and take action to change the planet in helpful healing ways time to transmute your anger about politics ego and repressive regimes by taking meaningful and peaceful action for what you believe in seeing straight through illusions and speaking your truth needs to start now you have been seen by the fairies as one of the evolving human ones and as such, you are responsible to your own inner truth, not to any exterior source of authority. Refuse to be dictated to. Protect nature and gentle people, and you will come into happiness and balance. You are part of a new world, one which we are currently growing into. The more honest and true you are, the better off this planet and her inhabitants and life forms will be. So... I told you, you bomb.com, Scorpio. Stop playing. You know, I love y'all. told y'all, my son is a Scorpio. He's a sweetheart, but I ain't gonna lie, y'all could be some jerks. If y'all wanna be jerks, y'all could be jerks. And y'all give zero. Zero bucks. So, love you guys, Scorpio. Um, if these messages resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to book a personal reading, you can. You can find that in the information box below. As well as if you would like to donate to the channel, you can donate to the channel as well. You can also find that information below as well. Um, so, I've set, all my, I've set my price for my readings. Um... I would do a three card spread for ten ten dollars and ten cents, and I would do a six card spread with clarification for twenty two twenty two. So, if you would like to book a personal reading, those are my rates. You can hit me up at the email address that's going to be below in the description box. And I wish you guys the most abundant week, laughter, love, light, and living. Mwah.